Under the AutoCAD 2012 program group, you'll see a folder called Migrate Custom Settings and two new functions, Export and Import AutoCAD 2012 Settings. This essentially allows you to export everything that defines how AutoCAD 2012 operates. In prior versions, you may have thought of this as a profile. Obviously, there are some caveats on the export. AutoCAD has to have been started so that everything could be properly set up and the user's profile established before exporting the settings can occur. Then, once the export file has been created, it can obviously be imported on other machines around your enterprise. So if you're a network administrator or a CAD manager, this allows you a faster, easier way to move custom settings around to different computers within your enterprise. We'll go ahead and select the export option now. If you'd like to use the help link represented here, it will take you to the AutoCAD 2012 help topics for exporting your settings. All you have to do now is press the export tab here. Now you'll be able to locate your exported file wherever you'd like. So how about at a network directory that would be accessible to everyone. This will be the file name unless you override it. So 2012 English custom settings will save. And that file now gets stored. Now we're ready for the import operation, which we'll see in just a moment. Once you've exported your AutoCAD 2012 settings using the export tool, you can go to another AutoCAD 2012 machine and run the import procedure. So we simply select the tool here. And if you'd like more assistance with this, you can go to the AutoCAD 2012 help system and search for import custom settings and you'll see the help coverage there. Now what we do is simply navigate to where our file has been stored previously, which we put on a network drive under a migration settings folder. And we simply select the zip file that was produced by the export operation. We'll tell it to open. And we'll get a notification that the data is being processed. Assuming that all goes well, you'll receive a notification here telling you that the import has been successful. If something were not to have gone correctly, you could go look at this log file, which is built there. And in fact, the log file will be displayed after this successful import. All your settings have now been imported into AutoCAD 2012. So this machine will now be set up exactly the same way as the machine that you exported from in your prior operation. That's all there is to it. Two new functions to export and import custom settings from your AutoCAD 2012 stations.